Welcome back to another iDoctor UK video. In this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at this busted up iPhone XR and we're gonna replace the back glass with a fresh new one to make it hopefully look something just like that. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. We'll get started straight away by placing the phone face down onto the laser bed. Let's start by turning on the laser machine and then we'll start tinkering around with the template on the computer. So we just choose Apple from the brand menu and then we'll find the iPhone XR rear cover on the models, load that up and then it shows us this outline of the phone here. These have been edited a little bit. Basically there's a red line that shows where, where the laser boundary is there and we can just adjust it with the directional keys on the PC. I know that the charge port's good. I know that the edges are good. And I always make sure that the camera, the flash and the microphone are good because you don't want to miss with the laser and damage any components. Now that that's all lined up and I'm happy with it, we can select all and then infill it just like that. Make sure that it's not filled any of the holes what we need leaving out. And then we're gonna choose red light on the machine and then that is going to start lasering the back of this phone so what you can see going on here is the laser will start in this bottom left corner and it just starts etching away what lots of people think it does is sort of damage the glass and to, to remove it but in actual fact it's just burning the layer of paint between the glue layer and the glass layer and it's just turning that layer into dust so that you can remove the glass easily. So you can see that it's gonna miss out the camera lens, the microphones, the wireless charging coil, and all the important bits down the bottom here. And this will do two passes now, um, going each direction. More moments later. So now that's done its two passes, we're gonna take it off the laser bed, and then we're gonna bring it over to this little clamp, what I've got set up over here. So the way that I always start it, I use one of these glass breaking tools and I always start it on the lightest setting in this top left corner, just above the camera. And then I always start with one of these smaller blades just to get started around the camera. And then whilst using the heat gun, this thing's set at 200 degrees. We're gonna start chipping away at the glass and just concentrate on getting the glass off, first of all. Once you've worked your way away from that camera, then you can move on to using the bigger blade, which is a number 17 blade. And then you can just start getting sort of bigger chunks off at a time. You, it's important if you're using the heat gun to keep it moving so that you're not holding it in one place all the time. And then another part, what is very important is around these edges, especially on the XR, it's, a, it's like a plastic bezel on there. So when it's warm, it's very easy to, to damage that. So you, you, don't, you don't want to work too close to that edge. But apart from that, it's just a case of chipping away at the broken glass, which is now much easier to remove because we've run the laser over it. And you can see that black on the top. That's what I was talking about earlier. The dust that's left behind between the, the metal chassis and the glass. But it's, it's not the glue. The glue's underneath that dust as well. Once you've got the glass off, it's time to start getting the glue off as well, which is just underneath it. So you just take your time, sort of slide underneath there. And the, the hot air is, is, is softening that glue up really nicely. So now we'll move on to the, to the middle of the phone. We've got the wireless charging coil just under there. When you come to this section, you can get one of these thin prying tools like that and get under the wireless coil. Not get under it, get between the glass and the wireless coil so you're not using a sharp blade around there because it's sort of a, a weak spot on the phone and then that's gonna peel up the glass like that without damaging that coil. So now we'll carry on with the 17 blade and the hot air gun, work our way through removing all the broken glass. Where it's shattered here a little bit more, it's usually a bit tougher to get off. That's because the laser refracts on the broken glass and it doesn't penetrate between it as much. It sort of sends a laser beam all kinds of different directions and it, it makes it a bit more difficult. So it, it, it's usually a lot more difficult when, when there's a really, really broken piece of glass on the back to get it off as opposed to just a couple of cracks what's in it. Now that we're on this bottom area, I don't know if you can see close up there, but you see that that's one of the microphone cables. So you've got to be really careful around them. There's another one over here. Then you've got the charge port and various other bits and bobs down here. What you can see is outlined with the area what's been missed by the um, laser. So 
We've just got to be very careful around this bottom area. Really common issues after doing this repair can be the three minute boot loop, which is usually caused when the, when the microphone has been nicked with the blade. Or another common issue that I've seen is buttons not working after it, and that's because the laser can, if it's not set up correctly, it can etch over the flex cable for your buttons and sever it. You see as well, whilst I, whilst I took the glass off, I also took the, the glue off from on that edge. Now that the majority, oh, we'll get this last bit of glass off here, and then I'm gonna swap the blade for a fresh one, because then we're gonna start removing the old glue, and it's best to use a fresh blade for that. And now we'll start with the heat again, nice and close this time, because we're softening that glue. I usually work in the same direction as the glue's been applied, which in this case, you can see it goes up and down. I usually start on the edge and then work my way into the middle with, that, with this area. And then just work in straight lines, taking all that black stuff off. So now we've got the majority of the glue off that top area. Just got this last edge to sort out. You just got to be careful on these corners because it's all plastic. So just being very light with the blade at this point because it's easy to start digging into the to the plastic on there and making a, a bit of a mess. If you really wanted to, you could use sort of a heat gun. I don't think a hairdryer would get warm enough, but a heat gun would do it, but you just got to be really, really careful if you if you fancy in taking this job on yourself. Um, I've had lots of devices in what people have tried to do a DIY repair on and they've given up after a few cuts or, or, or damaged something. I even had one last year where somebody had had a go at it and they'd gone through the TriStar chip on an iPhone 8, so it was, it was a mess. If you can get it off in one piece like that and it still feels smooth, you're doing something right. Just these last bits of glue to get off now. A little bit to tidy up on the bottom edge. And then we're almost ready for the glue and the glass. So that's looking pretty decent. I'm quite happy with that. If you run your fingers, be prepared to cut them. But if you run your fingers down the edge, you should, it should be smooth. There should be no bumps or lumps or dints in there. There should be no glass. If there is, just have a look at it and see if you can sort it out before putting the glass back on. And then I always find it helps. There's a very thin step in the plastic. And if you run the back of the blade down the edge of it, it just peels away. Sometimes it's, it, that little edge can get dirt and grime in there. And if you run your back of your blade out, it'll, it'll clean it out, ready for the next stage. Now I'm gonna just take a regular toothbrush it's not the same toothbrush that I cleaned my teeth with this morning, so don't worry about that. I don't know. I think that's a bit dodgy, mate. And this is going to get the thick of the muck off. And then we get a clean room wipe, or a couple of clean room wipes. I use some just to clean up any leftover glue. It's just going to tidy it up real nice now. That feels really, really good. Really nice. So now that we've got this looking clean and ready for our piece of glass, I'm just gonna make sure that the new piece fits onto it nice and snug. So I just lay it over there and make sure that it sits in and it's not rocking. It's not sat proud anywhere or anything like that. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. These are the big hole back glass. The reason it's called big hole is because that, that camera ring is just slightly bigger than the one on the phone so that you can slide the glass straight over it. So now that this is ready for the new piece of glass to be stuck on, we're going to use this cold press glue made by, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that company name. Um, anyway, there's a little bit left in this tube, just enough to do one glass. I always make sure that I've got a fresh nozzle and I use these pink ones from Replace Base. I think they're one mil nozzles. And always, always have a fresh one on there because they can get clogged up. And then like when we started the glass, we're just going to start in the top corner and I go all the way around the edge first. Lots of people ask me, is the repair waterproof after the repair? And whilst we can't guarantee that it is waterproof, this running, running the glue around the edge like that, it's going to give it the best chance of some level of water resistance after it. And then the same again down this edge. Just make sure that there's a nice bead of glue around the edge. 
Now I'm gonna work a bit like a printer and just go across in a line like that. Probably 10 mil between each line. And that's plenty of glue. And now we can stick the piece of glass straight on there. And then we can just place it on. Make sure that it goes on around the camera first. Rub it into the edges. And that'll squeeze out any glue that's sticking around. Take it out of the clamp. And this looks pretty decent. You can see the phone's still working fine. There's no damage to that at all. It's a pretty good job. All that we need to do now it's going to go into these clamps for the next hour to two hours depending how warm it is or cold it is in your shop will depend how how long it needs in there but at least one hour i don't recommend leaving it overnight because if there is any beads of glue left around the edges it's going to be a bit a bit more difficult to clean them off those thumb clamps just sit on like that and that's just about job done we'll come back in an hour and clean this up and get it get it ready to uh, go back to the customer the next day